everyone. This is Ash is here with me. He is three and a half months old and uh, we've had a request to do another teething video and I thought that would be perfect timing right now because his nickname is Piranha Boy. Uh, I have a puppy that loves to bite the back of my calves, my thighs, my hands, my clothing. And, uh, and he's not shy about it because he's a puppy. He is teething, he's growing in all of these teeth. His mouth is sore and he's particularly mouthy when it's time to eat. So when he's hungry, his, his teeth are more active because he wants to eat. So he's using his teeth to communicate. Puppies explore the world through their teeth. So you have to expect that a puppy is going to teeth. Some are better than others. See, he's just grabbing at me to get my attention. A lot of times it's attention. So if I move around, he'll be like, oh wait, I want to get her attention and he'll start grabbing at me. And sometimes it's incredibly painful. He'll grab skin. And usually what I do is I'm trying to get him a little bit interested in what I'm doing to get my attention by doing this. So now he's grabbed my jacket. So what I do is I turn around, I put my hand into his mouth and I fold over his cheek into his teeth. So sim see, he's gra now he's grabbing me. Now this is a game. So I immediately come down here to his mouth. So gently say, no, that's not what we do. If you can see he's trying to put his, my fingers in his mouth. I let him. He's got my finger in his mouth and he's just gumming it. So he's learning bite inhibition because he's learning that he can go nicely. When he goes a little bit too rough, I squeeze down on him, on him so he releases, just like a dog would do. So his mom and his grandparents play with him all the time. They let him chew on them until he gets too hard and they give him a warning of like, ah! Do you see him stop quickly when I made a noise? And he's like, okay, I'll sit. Because I make a loud noise like a dog would do. So I'm correcting him in a species specific way that allows him that understanding that that's inappropriate and he stopped dead. So we do this frequently. I don't allow him to continue. I do, I'll put my fingers in his mouth. I think it's important that puppies be able to look at their teeth, make sure they're coming in okay. My, he's used to my hands on his face and he's, he doesn't bite or hold on. But there are times when he gets excited. So I'll do this again and get him excited for things. And he'll start playing and he'll start grabbing like a puppy would because puppies do that. So he's grabbing my coat again and I don't like holes in my coat. So I come back here say, no, that's not what we're doing. I kind of hold his muzzle. He grabs back on. That's not what we're doing. And then he'll probably try. Well, he's going to keep going for the coat. Stop. And this is where children and puppies are difficult. You have to really think through if you can manage a puppy and children, especially young children who don't understand and don't know how to deal with this. So he's pulling hard right now. I'm going to come back here say, no, that's not what we do. I fish my jacket out and he's biting a little bit harder because he's a little more excited. I can kind of play with him a little bit. I hook his canine in my, my, to, my finger. And then if he pulls on too much, I roll in his cheek over the teeth and he lets go. And I come back and I say that. The other thing I do is I have a toy on me at all times. So now I give him the toy and we play tug with the toy. This is redirection. It's probably one of the best ways to get a puppy to stop chewing on you is give them something they can chew. This is all he wants is to use his teeth. So he wants to play. He wants to engage with me. He's doing it for attention. Um, that's the other way to control it. The other thing to do is, Ash, if he's, if he's biting me, come here, buddy. I know I brought out a toy, is I have a treat. And he's trained to sit for a treat or a mirage. He's trained to lay down for a treat. So all of these things keep him focused on something else besides biting me. So I always offer a treat after they do a behavior. Good boy. So now he's super focused on me and he wants to, he wants to play. He's like, mom's got food. So let's see if I can get him engaged again. He's kind of getting like, what are we doing? Ah. So I get him roughed up a little bit. If you really want your puppy to bite you, 
rough up and play with them because then they'll treat you like a puppy. I don't generally treat him like a puppy because I don't want him treating me back like a puppy. I let him play with the dogs. If you don't have other dogs for them to play with, puppy play dates are amazing for puppies and teaching by inhibition appropriately with their own species. It's hard for them to understand humans don't like to get bit and because we don't communicate the same as puppies. So the other thing for when dogs get riled up, when puppies get riled up, know they're gonna come and use their teeth. So it's up to you to manage the situation. So, hey, Ash, what are you doing? This is the first time he's been on camera. So if a dog is super out of control, he's like, I like my leash, is I put him on the leash. And so that way, if they're biting me, so he's gonna bite the leash, I can roll in his cheek and say, no, that's not what we're doing. No, that's not what we're doing. And that's gonna only work so far. So, she, so I can only do the same thing and get the same results. He keeps grabbing the leash, so I bring out a treat. Ash. And when he drops the leash, I'll give him a treat. Ash, come here. Good boy. So he dropped the lead. I gave him a treat. I rewarded him for the behavior I'm looking for. Good boy. Sit. Yeah. Give me five. We have not yet, yet learned five. We're learning it as the moment. He thinks it's touch. Give me five. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. So give him things to do. Redirect and do a spin. Oh, good boy. What a good puppy. So now I have his undivided attention. He's no longer trying to bite me. I have the leash for control if I have a puppy that's super riled up and just not focusing and can't calm down. I put them behind a gate or a pen where they can be successful. These puppies are like toddlers. They don't understand how they can't get themselves chilled out unless they're removed from the situation. Or I remove myself from the situation. A lot of times in the morning, I'll be coming out here to pick up hoop and he's fired up, he's grabbing my legs and it's painful and I'm going down. And I just, I either put him back in the house or I come back and put him, or I put him somewhere else so I can finish picking up hoop or I wait to pick up hoop later. Because it's not fair to him to expect him not to exhibit behavior that is completely age specific. They're not being aggressive. If you treat them like, if you, if you engage with them playing, they will engage back with you uh, as a puppy. So just know that if you're getting down on the floor and roughhousing with them, they're gonna do the same. Um, the other thing with teething is to just make sure that they have plenty of things to chew on, that when it becomes mealtime, go ahead and feed them because, uh, and not play with them because they're gonna only be focused on filling that void. Ash, come here, Bubba. Um, I'm filling that void and that to them is getting your attention, which getting your attention is easiest to do by biting. Um, I have another video on, t on puppy teething that starts when they're uh, about two months old. It's a little different, but very similar tactics of redirection. Give them something to chew on. Give them a good chew. He gets a bully stick or an antler or something like that every day because his teeth are hurting and the gums are swollen and he needs something to relieve that tension and that stress in his mouth. Um, but just know it's a very uh, natural part of puppy rearing. It's very difficult to manage with little kids. And so know that it's coming and know that your puppy might not be able to appropriately play with kids, with little kids at this age unless they know how to remove themselves from the situation, remove their fingers and their clothing um, so they are out of the way. Otherwise, check out my other video on puppy teething. Happy to answer any questions. Happy training.